thought I'd make a short video on uh, cleaning out this masonry here that I built. I built it, the core, and my friend Andy and I laid up all the field stone. These are rocks that we pick out of our fields. Uh, the idea behind a masonry heater is there's a fire brick core and then about 10,000 pounds of rock and masonry, so a six inch wall. But the uh, high intensity fire will, uh, in that sealed firebox, will heat up this whole mass and then the mass will radiate heat into the room. I'd like to build a temporary wall behind me to isolate this part of the house from the other part of the house, which is still not done. I don't know when it'll be done, but I've burned this for three years. Basically, the f exhaust goes up, hits the top, and then goes down. Um, side channels, and then it goes underneath under this bench here and then it goes up a chimney and by the time it goes out the chimney it's down to about 100 degrees about 1800 degrees in the combustion chamber and um, there's four clean out grates one two and then two on the opposite side they say to clean it out every year but I haven't cleaned it out um, for three years now and I'm a little nervous. I wanted to get this running again because my power keeps going out and all I got is electric heat. And I know there's other options, just not for me. So I'm going to try to take a shot of inside this. You vacuum it out. I don't know it's going to show up, but it might be too much glare. But there's not a whole lot of soot. soot. But I did find it's going to show up charred bird at the bottom of the chimney stack. Um, <laughs> I can't tell what kind of bird it is. That's what's left of it. Um, burning 100 pounds a day of wood in theory gives me enough BTUs to heat this 2,000 square foot house. So I've tried to isolate it and insulate it and all the rest of it. And of course there's a heavy duty concrete slab I poured there and it's supported down all the way down to the basement into the ground. So it's reinforced concrete and I've got setbacks in terms of fire code. But basically this is warm enough to touch when the, uh, it's about 120 degrees, the rocks outside here. It's a three or four hundred year old technology. I think Russian mass heater. There's a masonry heater association. I've got a. Turned out really nice. The only challenge is uh, hauling wood in here. Got to be dried wood. I don't want creosote buildup. It's really hard to clean the inside of these. It might be long enough for now. You can see my deluxe accommodations. People ask me how I live like this, like, well, it's like camping out. It has its uh, trade-offs, however. There's a new bin out there, still waiting on the electrician to hook it up. Combine's out there in the new shed, hoping to start combining beans tomorrow. It's 37 degrees out right now. Yikes. Okay. Oh. Bonus footage of my dog. And Radio Guadalajara.